All right, guys. Here we go. So, um, I've been seeing, uh, you know, there's a few people talking about the conversation I had with Def Noodles, and that's cool. I haven't really been engaging. Um... You know, I'm talking about this one, I guess. I want to watch this. I'm curious about it because a mod sent it to me and said it was pretty good. So this little lovely maggot said, hey, you should watch this, Poppy. And I said, all right, I'll watch it. Figure out watching on stream, see what it's all about. Uh, this isn't meant to be like a continuation. I'm not going to keep talking about the Death Noodle thing in the sense where I have an issue with him. You know, as far as I'm concerned, everything is like, you know, we're, we're moving on for the most part. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it would happen, happen. And we're... Sure, we're both still absorbing. We're still absorbing um, information. You know what I mean? Each other's information. As most happen, it takes time to really formulate opinions and et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, I'm still curious about this. This is from Frenemies Reloaded. Um, I've watched their content before. They had a pretty good, interesting video. And I also kind of like watching smaller creators because they're usually a little more raw. Because they're not afraid of people pooping on them. They're mostly they're like they don't they're not they don't get like the exposure to like you know get hit like hard. Which is like I'm not criticizing that because like I obviously was there too and I'm still kind of am like I'm not that big so it's not well I'm fat but <laughs> but it's it's nice to get like a more raw perspective than like the really safe like Ugh! you know. So let's take a look at this while we play this popular video game Lost Ark. So I was just here getting ready to record this video. And I just so happened to glance upon a comment in my comment section informing me that Trisha oh. is pregnant. And then, yeah. Oh my God, who's the father? I saw the picture of Moses and Trisha holding the sonogram that she is pregnant. Can we just talk about it? <laughs> like today she said like she posted something on Twitter and she was like, oh, I'm, I'm, now that I'm pregnant, I'm watching what I eat and what I put inside my body, she said. And I commented and I said, oh, then why are you sleeping with Moses? <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Pregnant. Congratulations to Moses and Trisha. I hope she has a stress-free pregnancy. And, and I hope that she is a good mother. Genuinely, that will be terrible if she's not. The safe delivery. All right. On to why I'm really here. The dust. I like that though. Between the, Def Noodle. The little click, the clickbait of like, oh, Def Noodles versus Pop Got Plus. Trisha's pregnant. Listen, I don't blame you, bro, because this is not an interesting topic. Okay. This is a boring topic. Nobody oh. cares. <laughs> <laughs> and Papa Gut. I kind of waited for everything to die down, and as of today, both parties have settled their differences. I guess. Uh, I want to apologize to Papa Gut Papa for uh, treating Sorry, Papa Gut. I don't know. It's not a criticism. <laughs> I just uh, I'm weird. Him that way. Um, Very cool. The name calling as well. I want to apologize for that as well. Um, very with uh, Def Noodles issuing an apology to Papa Gut for the terms he used in regards to him. Okay, Def Noodles' first video responding to Papa Gut. Okay. Well, I th it might have been good to start with my video, since that's chronologically where it would go, or the B Family video, but okay. The reason that he does that, from my understanding, is that I think Keemstar, oh, well, apparently, according to Def Noodles, tried to call him like a or something don't you love it when somebody doesn't do their fucking research and just talks out of their ass team stars had some you know the majority okay already team stars takes aren't great now folks this whole part just threw me for a fucking loop because this guy saying that keemstar maliciously publishing an absolutely false allegation about me with the you know what's interesting and this is what i learned later on is apparently historically uh, Def noodles has uh had some sussy takes and he's been called out by like I guess the, you know, a bunch of people in the commentary community, et cetera, et cetera. And apparently, according to Keemstar, this was Keemstar made up these allegations as a joke, which explains a lot. And like, I talked to Keemstar in the private DMs, and I was like, it's just not appropriate. Like, that's a call to violence. You shouldn't be saying that kind of shit. It doesn't matter if your point was is that he's making up information and, and things. You just don't go there. It's just not appropriate. And I think that makes sense as to why. Def Noodles is a little gatekeepy on jokes because, like, that's an incredibly slanderous joke. And I think that, like, yeah, I guess he has to maintain that position to, <sighs> to maintain that position. That, like, okay, that's not a joke, though. But, like, I think that Keemstar is joking, but it's still disgusting. And it's really incredible to me that a grown 40-year-old man 
um, would not understand that that's not an appropriate joke. Did I just? Oh, I think I fucked up. Wouldn't understand that that's just not an appropriate joke. I don't really get how you don't understand that. Um, but yeah, that's just some context to be thrown out there. Intent of destroying my career is a bad take. Is literally the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. So sorry, you dumb fuck. It's not a take. It's slander. So the first thing I want to say right off the bat is that it feels very intentional that he didn't add the age of the person that made the said the particular things. Now, folks, if this absolute fucking moron of a human being had allowed the video to play for just a few more seconds instead of pausing it so he can pontificate to himself and himself off with how intelligent he feels like he is he would have heard <laughs> that i literally mentioned the guy's age seconds later wow sounds like that 17 year old is dealing with this harassment which he should not be getting pretty well wonder why this dumb fuck is pushing this false narrative 17 year old sharing with us that he's doing mentally good expose this absolute dumb fucks bullshit false narrative i just have to say man because that part stresses like i the other part like it was you know that's fine criticism but it was an interesting take that, like, I was worried that Killick was getting was going to have mental health issues, be, being called the N-word and told to kill himself constantly. And, like, the take is, well, he said he was fine. It's just a little rough, man. I'm just saying. That one bothers me more than anything else because it's not, like, me that's getting targeted in that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not the one that's, like, receiving. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, and so it's, like, weird to assume that that's unreasonable. It's an unreasonable assumption to make that, like, yeah, I think that people getting told, called the N-word and told to kill themselves might be a little upset. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are the implications of that? You know what I'm just, I'm just saying. But. However, folks, the most ironic thing about this uh, absolute dumb fucks video, this guy has to be a fucking moron, folks, because I he am, clearly true. doesn't know the difference between a joke, which traditionally has set up in punchline, versus somebody saying mean shit. Let's give this dumb fuck the benefit of the doubt, and let's see what the 17-year-old kid actually said in the video, okay. and whether it's a joke or not. Clearly, this dumb fuck doesn't know the difference between telling a joke and just saying I'm guessing this is just all the dumb fucks clipped out of the <laughs> original video. <laughs> the video itself is incredibly difficult to watch. No, it's not. It's funny to watch. It's funny. Yeah, that was that was a little rough for me there. I shouldn't have been so insensitive towards the girl. I still maintain that she's that she doesn't she's not going to have any trauma specifically from what happened to Kelly. Like Killick was trash talking like the kid, other kid, and she came up and it was wrong. And I talked to Killick as to why that's like wrong and it's like it's, it excludes women and how it's inappropriate. The traumatic experience would come from the parents blasting it on social media and encouraging her to cry on camera. Um, but that that inherently having somebody say that wouldn't be uh, by itself a, a traumatic experience. Because people keep saying like, oh, well, there was thousands of people watch that. Killick gets like, doesn't get like, no offense to him, he doesn't have like 30, if he has 30,000 followers, doesn't mean that all of his interactions have like 30,000 views. But I'm just saying that like alone, that's not going to be a traumatic experience. It was still really insensitive of me though. I shouldn't have made this, this comment here, so. It's a funny watch. Ah, yes, folks. Uh, nothing yeah. like laughing at the tears of a 15-year-old girl. How could I have forgotten? This guy finds abuse hilarious. The papa gut and deaf noodle situation. The one thing that bothers me, though, and again, I just want to, is that, like, my point, even in this video, still hasn't been, like, brought up. I feel like that's, like, the first relevant thing. And that is, is that there was an overprescription of punishment um, for what Killick did, and they called him, like, a pedophile and a predator, and it really, really bothered me. And there are some historical, like, act, uh, aspects there, too, where black people have historically, black boys have been aged to men, and intentionally, like, aged, because they lied about his age and said he was 19, and continued to call him a grown man even afterwards, and they acknowledged he was 17, to, in order to overprescribe punishment. And that's, like, my biggest issue, is that they didn't say, like, hey, this is wrong, it needs to stop. They said, hey, you should get banned, you're a pedophile, you're a predator, you need to get chased off of every platform, we're going to sue you, and they just, like, went on and on and on. And I do believe there was a racial element there as well, like, subconscious bias, but... ...situation involved a story about the B family, who I've never heard of until now, and Killick, a uh, gamer, which gamer. I've never heard of him either. I'm going to leave that conflict at the door because I don't want to discuss that. I watched... Why? Deaf noodles. Why? Uh, not for nothing, but I feel like you can't really talk about the situation between me and Deaf noodles without acknowledging that. That is the entire. That is like you don't have to weigh in on it. You, but at least like that feels like that's the main thing. Like, hey, I'm gonna leave the Killick and B family interaction at the door. That's our whole interaction. That's a little bit. We're setting ourselves up for failure here content because he has also the b family removed took their video down by the way just so you know 
is a show updated every day with all the news so you can find it all in one spot so i really appreciate that imagine to even get that much content out on a day-to-day basis is ridiculous so uh, i do admire his work ethic papa gut I am a big fan of long form content on YouTube and he reacts to um, different YouTube videos and he comments on them. I think I first discovered him during the whole Frenemies saga when the show (laughs) stopped. I think that's when I found Papa Gut and I would watch his... That's where most people came from, yeah. (laughs) Or a lot of people, I don't want to say most, but there's definitely a significant amount of people, yeah. Take on that situation. I thought he had very, very interesting things to say. And uh, yeah, so I like these two content creators for different reasons. Never did I think I would see Papa Gut and Def Noodles going at it. Everybody has their take on this situation. I did a video on this right after the debate. (laughs) And I was mad because I could have been editing my uh, Frenemies Reloaded series, but halfway through i got caught up in this papa gut deaf noodle i was curious what is a frenemies reloaded series sounds interesting drama it took me longer to get my my regular scheduled videos out so that's why i was mia a bit last week but (laughs) not only did i make a video about the debate (laughs) when i saw the way how it was heading my video was just so worthless just for context it wasn't it wasn't intended to be a debate all right it's just supposed to be a conversation I just scrapped it at the last <laughs> minute. And uh, let me just show you what I had before I scrapped it. All right, let's see, let's see it. Bro, I just realized I'm going to have to watch more clips of me and Death Noodles talk. It just makes me cringe, just in general, like the interaction. Like, I'm so, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm just curious about what this person has to say, but I, I'm going to be cringe when I have to watch the, 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 the conversation. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Jim. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final. This is Judge Jem. Okay. I'm surprised that's not DMC8. <laughs> okay. Papa Gut is calling fellow YouTube. I am the plaintiff. Interesting. YouTuber Deaf Noodles to task because of a news update in which he referred to the married Papa Gut as an incel. He is looking. It's not even like. That's not even close to what it was about. Why do you? Why do people focus so much on this incel thing? I think it's because Dennis constantly reinforced that I got upset about it. I was just bringing it up for context in the way that he was priming his audience, which is something we all do to people in general, but in like in like a negative framing way because we know incel is loaded with like misogyny and blah 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 and all that other shit. I didn't really care, but he kept saying you care. I was like I don't really care, bro. But that's not what it's about, man. It's just about specifically like not talking about what I talked about in the beginning, um, and that is like hey. <laughs> There's an issue here where Killick did a bad thing. He was making very inappropriate comments about Gabriella B to the B brother because they were both having a toxic interaction on Roblox, which is inappropriate for him to do. Um, But them intentionally aging him to 19 and then calling him a grown man even after they acknowledge he's 17 and call him a rapist, pedophile, and pedophile. Oh my God, pedophile and a predator. That's really inappropriate. And that is an exaggerate. That's a massive. it's massively like damaging. Like they're trying to deplatform this person for making like a. It was a. It's wrong, but they're trying to like. He's. Do you think he's a pedophile? Like no, he's not a predator. He's not. A, and they even said that he like. It's first. It's first. It's stuff like this, and then he's gonna rape somebody. He's like holy shit. And like again, I brought up the historical aspect of it as well. <laughs> it's like this has nothing to do with the insult. I just don't understand why you guys can't bring up my 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 perspective when I because it's like so. And this is the thing that's so important. It's more important than anything else is like the message I'm trying to talk about. It's it's weird. I don't get it, man. And it's, it's so weird. Now the incel thing's bothering me because people keep saying it's bothering me and they're ignoring what has actually happened. But okay. Looking for a retraction. Order. All rise. This is a case of Papa Gut and okay. Deaf Noodles. You may be seated. Papa Gut, I'm short on time. Please state your case. You have 10 seconds. You made your video. I contested it. You fired back. I would say yours was like a pretty intense and probably like bordering disrespect. Really not bordering. I responded and I feel like I was pretty okay, cordial. Let me, let me... Time's up. And uh, the defense. He's already. Okay. Did it deaf noodles? What do you have to. Hey. Go on. State your case. Take as much time as you need.
take a moment right now. I apologize for interrupting. So I, I do want to apologize yeah. for the language that I used in the video. It, it, it's it's okay. It was, <laughs> Listen, man, everybody gets heated. Yeah, uh, I do feel like you know, I, 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 I had actually shot a segment that I was going to put in my video yesterday um, uh -huh. that where I where I uh, basically apologized for calling you a moron, calling you a dumb fuck. Look, I, I <laughs> it really doesn't justify me using that language. I do. Uh, I do use it a little bit. I gotta watch this again, bro. It's making me cringe. Yeah, I wasn't able to get a full thought out. There was a lot, of, like it was kind of unfortunate because, again, I, my my actual message got completely eradicated for the humor of it. But I I understand how it can be, uh, how somebody who's on the other end of it can feel offended by that. Sure, yeah. Um, so I I just want to I I want to apologize right now to you. And it's okay, Def. You're in your feelings. We all go through that. Kind of acknowledged, you know, the, the, the part where you basically glossed over all my work Death and just said something reactionary. Sitting like in the tree. Okay. You know, what? Well, oh, what? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, time's up. Uh, Papa God, is your turn to, to respond. Make it quick. Things the yeah, so, sure. Um, I, I can, I can, I can explain this. So, okay. So when I originally watched. Just listen to me. Okay. It was supposed to be a funny video. I just had this concept, like I wanted to do another Gems Court, but this time it was going to be Judge Jemmy. The joke was, these two are going to be debating, and I'm just going to be like simping for Deaf Noodles. That was the joke. Like, I wasn't really caring what they were saying at that point. I just was like, ah, oh, this is a good okay. video to do. <laughs> Until I started editing the video. And uh, Deaf, you, um, how can I put this? You killed my joke, Deaf. You killed my joke. Because how could I be simping for you when you're acting like that? It wasn't funny anymore. And I tried. I tried. You don't, you don't understand how much. I don't I know. I would have liked to see the funny version of it. The simping version would have been kind of funny. I think it would have been interesting. I would have been interested to watch, you know. I tried. But as I was editing it, I'm like, no, no, this is not going to work. Point. And you started off with the young girl to prime your audience into thinking that I was some kind of like somebody who supported like predatorization. Well, you're, you said something like, about up, that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, you're, hold on, because you said something along the lines that like I enjoy like stuff like this, and so like that's priming your audience instead wait, of starting with like here's Papa Gut's take. Wait, wait, you're, hold, you're on, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Instead no, no, of starting no, no, with like here, wait, 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 hold on. Instead of starting with like here's Papa no, I'm not. So hold on, hold on. I just let me get my point through, and then you could talk. Like let me just let me get you my point out, right? No, but you're, you, you're clearly it, like, mischaracterizing. You started. How can you get a point out if you're? But how? But no. But how can I make? How can? How can you like make the assertion I'm mischaracterizing it if you won't even let me finish the point that I'm trying to make? Why you are you started afraid off of me with a mischaracterization. The you said that I primed my audience to already yes. hate you. Yes. Like that. That is so. That's so absolutely insane. It is, it, I know. I don't know why you did it. So listen. Let me just get now this thing out. Now let's, you're right, accusing me of doing it. First, you jumped off. No, you jumped off the assertion that I did it. And now so, you're actually okay. Let me so let me. Wait, I would like so let me wait. let me propose my point. Actually, I, no, no, explain, you, I know that I know that accusation. Listen, man, I don't want because this is I don't like, want this to devolve into this. Ex I, I'm curious because that, that's actually I take that very seriously. Like you're okay, you're actually so saying let me let me get it out that I'm manipulating my audience to hate you. Okay, so if can I, I get really my wanted point? To do that, this? look, if I really wanted to do that, there are better ways for me to do it than what is in my video. They're can definitely, I, can I, can I and make honestly, the point? I kind of suck at doing that because of the amount of blowback that I got from this shit. I, I honestly, I suck at doing that. If that's really what I tried to do, damn, I fucking suck at doing that. Because I'm man, here right I, now. I, I, I'm not trying to, to talk, go down like I, this. I wish, that, I wish this guy would be able to talk. It would have been so interesting to hear what he had to say. I had actually been like successful in at doing what you're saying <laughs> that I, I tried to do. <sighs> Then I fucking suck. Well, I never said he was successful. It was almost successful until people started watching my videos, and then they're like, "Oh wait, this Papa Gut guy's right." I suck okay. at that. Seriously, can otherwise I, I wouldn't be here. Can, like uh, I wouldn't have to be here having this conversation. I wouldn't be listen, getting listen, I, hundreds I do of hate you comments. Here. Like, do you understand how your own point undoes itself? Like your, it your own point. But, well, your own I point. haven't, but I haven't been able to make the point yet. Like, let, I, can I make my point? I just yeah, want to be able to get it, it out there. Okay. So listen, first and foremost, like we'll talk about priming is something that everybody does. And I'm glad I scrapped sure. it because after I scrapped it was when all the backlash started happening with Def Noodles. And I was like, whoo, I'm glad I didn't put that up. <laughs> I watched um, a video by Pearl Swirl who did a reaction to the first video where Def Noodles went ham on Papa Gut. What I'm saying is there's a feeling that I get with Deaf Noodles that is just weird. I don't know what it is. I don't, 
I don't know what it is. It's like. Mm, I wish I could put my finger on it. I, I don't I don't know what it is, but something about that Something about that channel. It just death really came for Papa like he came for him in a, in a way that was like hey, Maybe he came for me because he's attracted to me. You know what I'm saying, dude? I wouldn't I wouldn't blame him then dude. You know, I'm an attractive guy. I'm sorry though I'm an incel, so I can't have sex with you Death. Wait a minute, like, did you I'm watch the video? Oh, wait, no, I'm, in, like, do I'm you... involuntarily, fuck. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I'll never get the opportunity. Ah, whatever. Not all jokes work out, brothers. Even hear what he said? He didn't come at you in a, in a malicious way, in my opinion. It wasn't malicious at all. I agree. Whatsoever. Thank you. So it, just, it really trips me out when he came at him. Like, it just really, honestly, let's, let's rewatch that. Let's rewatch that. I'll link her at the bottom because <laughs> it was funny for me to see people who were used to seeing deaf noodles behind a desk and highly produced. And when they saw him in his raw natural element, everybody was like, what is going on here? There was that much of a mess. So seeing people's reactions <laughs> to Deaf Noodle in his natural essence was hilarious to me because I've seen a couple of his videos on his, his lesser known channels where he is like an awkward kind of guy. <laughs> Wait, is Def like really like a kind of an awkward dude? Interesting. That's an interesting thing. Okay, maybe that makes sense. Maybe he, maybe he just, uh, maybe he just doesn't fully understand. Like, maybe something. Maybe he just sometimes misinterprets interactions. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe that's why things got a little spooky. Giving him the old benefit of the doubt. I am. Hey, everybody. I don't really know what to do right now. I feel like I should... <laughs> what the fuck? Say something. Maybe but... he's trying to do, like, a Tim and Eric thing. Like, where he's, like, trying to be intentionally awkward. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if... It, you know what I'm saying? I don't really know what I should say or do. And yet, I am recording. I want to try something a little different with this. And different usually means that I don't know where to start. You ever feel like that? Ever feel like, where do I start? And that is literally how I feel right now. And I've seen him before in another debate when he was debating these other guys. And Def was doing the same thing. Like, that's how he acts. You say anything about him, he's very, he's very sensitive. And so when this yeah. debate happened, this nothing wrong with a sensitive uh, boy. You know what I mean? Same way. It was like, oh, well, that's that's how he is. But I can imagine seeing him in that light. Not in like a derogatory boy sense, but like in like, you know, sensitive guys. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> For the first time, we'll throw everybody all the way off. I don't go to Deaf Noodles for news because at the start he says it's irrelevant news. So I'm taking him at his word, which is only interesting when he does topics that you would consider serious. Because I'm still thinking it's irrelevant to him. That's why he put it in his, his news show. So when he goes on about Keemstar and like, let's say. Well, I assume he calls it irrelevant news because it's like drama news. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just what I assume, you know, because it's irrelevant. It's drama. It doesn't really matter that much. But like people are still interested in, you know what I mean? Everybody likes their shit. I talk about drama shit too. I can't, I'm not going to pretend I'm not interested in it. B family and he's taking these issues like really seriously. Okay, I get that. But you call it irrelevant news. So are we still in the irrelevant side or is this relevant? That's the only thing he needs to tweak. Because I'm taking everything you're saying as irrelevant. Here's the issue. I think it's safe to say everybody's telling Papa Gut you handled yourself well in the debate and people it's, are saying to Deaf Noodles, whoa, mask off. What just happened? It's funny because I, I'm getting people say like, Papa Gut, you were really like you did handle yourself on the debate, but I'm also getting people that are yelling at me for not going in harder on him. <laughs> They're saying you should have went harder on him. You should have been like, you you know, you shouldn't have let him disrespect you like that. <laughs> One of those people is my wife. <laughs> she does not particularly care for deaf noodles after this interaction because i'm nicer than my wife <laughs> um so yeah anyway happen who are you <laughs>
But I have a theory. This is a weird theory, okay? Because I'm pretty sure that they are are both going to deny it because even when they were kind of making up, so to speak. Are you going to say that we're attracted to each other? Because I'm not going to deny that. (laughs) None of them really said what I was thinking. So I'm sure they're going to deny my theory. And they have every right to because they're saying they're upset about the issue at hand. Be family and kill it. That This was what their argument was over. And yeah. that was the main focal point of their issues. And once they settled the conflict around that, everything was good. Like, Def Noodles, why did you do your first video responding to Papa Gut where you're just calling him out his name? You know what I mean? It just came from left field. But here's the thing. Sorry. Def Noodles and Papa Gut didn't like each other. Follow me back to around December. And there was a controversy over Sniper Wolf okay. and Keemstar. And Def Noodles did a story on it in favor of Sniper Wolf. And I'm giving you a real condensed version of this. Okay. Papa Gut saw Def Noodles' video and responded. And I just want to um, highlight okay. some of Papa Gut's response. Let's see. So anytime, if you've decided to look into the situation, which Def Noodles has apparently done, and you're still dramatizing this, bro, you're being pathetic. I don't, this is just. That is a little rough, bro. I do remember that situation. Uh, maybe that was, maybe that is what, maybe that was just a little meme. I feel like he would have brought that up though. I feel like he just hadn't watched that video. But yeah, man. So with that, video, I want to give a little sum up. Before. I'm going to prime my audience by explaining to you that situation. So you have some context going in. Right, just for clarification, priming isn't always bad. We do it all the time. Point I was trying to make, but basically, um, like yeah, so that situation was very interesting. It was the Keemstar Sniper Wolf thing, where after looking at everything, so Sniper Wolf, uh, like a fan reached out to somebody to reach out to Sniper Wolf. Uh, her her child was dying of cancer, which she passed away. Like rest in peace. And um, Sniper Wolf said, like, yeah, I'll make some time to talk to her. And then on like multiple times, um, Sniper Wolf basically dodged the mother who was like, hey, can we do it today? Can we do it today? Three days. It was like two or three days in a row. And she had said something along the lines of like, I'm going to try to make time, but I'm very busy. And it's like, okay, well, that's really shitty. You promised to do this. This girl is like dying. And she unfortunately passed away. And like, like, yeah, man, it was seemed like Sniper Wolf was intentionally trying to dodge this kid. She made a promise. You don't have to do it in the first place. You know, but you made a promise to do it, and you should uphold that promise. Keemstar is not great. He sucks, right? He's not a great guy. So I understand why people don't want to agree with him. But I feel like the only reason you would disagree with him is because you don't like Keemstar in this situation. Um, but after looking at the situation, yeah, she did talk to the girl after the fact. Yes, <laughs> yes. Keemst- the reason that Sniper Wolf talked to the girl is because Keemstar shamed her into doing it, right? So, Keemstar was right. He's not often right. Um, but he was right. You know what I mean? Just saying. But yeah. It's embarrassing. I would Go be watch in- the full video and give me more. Watch more of me so I get more money. Okay? <laughs> watch that full video. Embarrassed if I was Def Noodles right now. Okay, you're sending me a video where Def Noodle admits he's playing a character. I'm not, uh, this isn't, we're not just, uh, we're not doing the, it's just a joke. I don't care if he's playing a character. This is his genuine, pers- genuine perspective. You guys are already downplaying it. It doesn't matter if it's a character. This is the way he feels about it. I don't understand. Just stop. So, like, dude, this is ridiculous. This is childish. What you're doing is you're corralling an order. That video is pretty long. It's like an hour or an hour and a half. Also, bro, I look like shit with that hair. I look so much better completely bald. I have to just pause it and give myself a minute so that I can like not cringe at watching my own content, you know, because that's a very cringy experience for me. Audience of people like Keemstar so that you could virtue signal about how he's a bad person and ignore a 10 year old child. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You're being dishonest for money or you're just dumb. I mean, one of those two things are, are, are certainly true. You're either intentionally being dishonest or you're just like very. That's a little rough, man. But honestly, like, there's, I, I don't, I, yeah, I kind of still agree with that, even if it was a mean way to say it, because, like, there's either way you're being dishonest or, like, you're just not understanding the situation. But I should have been so mean. I also still don't think that Def Noodle saw that, though. I'm just saying. Oh, my ship's also going to break. I'm going to cry. Ignorant on this situation. Or, if I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, you hate Keemstar so much that you're just looking through everything through a lens. You're not an objective source of information, though. I have personally demonetized my video. Any ads that may run on it, the money will just go to YouTube. I'm not going to receive any of it. Anyways, never- That's 
That's dumb. This is what I'm talking about. It's the virtue signal. I demonetize my video so no money. Wouldn't it make more sense to monetize your video and donate 100% of it to this fucking person? Like, do you see how this is a virtue signal? I hate this. Like, yeah, that you see that, that the reason, I, I mean, obviously I'm like going off and I shouldn't have been so fucking critical. Well, I should be as critical, but not as mean. But yeah, man, a lot of people will do that. They'll play this game where it's like, why well, demonetize my video? Um, but it comes off as a virtue signal because like if your issue is like, hey, you should be donating to charity, it would make more sense to not demonetize your video and then donate to charity. But it's a weird YouTube trope to like when you're trying to seem like a really nice guy to just not monetize your video. It's weird. It's just a weird thing to me. Um, but you know what? <laughs> I'm like looking at it now, definitely a little too intense there. But I still don't think Def Noodle, like if Def Noodle saw that video and he said, yo, bro, you were a fucking dickhead to me in this, I would have been like, you know what, that's fair. That would have been fair. But I, he didn't bring it up. I don't think it was a factor, but it could have been because like, yeah, I was definitely rude in that situation. I agree with what like what I'm fundamentally saying, but I could have definitely said it in a less antagonistic way. This dumb um, fuck low IQ fucking perspective. I demonetized my video so that I don't make any money. Why? Wouldn't it make more sense to monetize it and donate it? You're literally net lossing by your own logic. You're actively not... Do you. Why not take the money and say, I'm going to donate all the money I make on this video in like the first week or whatever because like you're going to make the most money in the first week. To the and also, you can write it off on your taxes, bro. Epic, epic capitalism move. Guess you, you bet you didn't think about that. <laughs> This fucking GoFundMe. Wouldn't that make more sense? It would. I don't, I don't right. get it. I You're really right. just don't get it. It's a it's a complete fucking it's a complete fucking virtue signal, bro. It's a complete fucking virtue. This guy is signal. smart. He's just a little mean. Um, and it's fucking embarrassing. You guys just you guys aren't even like intelligent in the own th the same things that you say. Like you sit here, oh, Kim. You think I should do a frenemies podcast with Def Noodles? I think that could be cool. But I who would who would be first of all? If I was him, I wouldn't do it because like I'm a nobody compared to him. Like I'm not honestly. You know what I mean? I'm just being absolutely honest with you guys. Second of all, who would be who would be Trisha though? Who would be Trisha? Would it be me, or would it be Def Noodles? You know what I'm saying? Interesting question. And then who would be Ethan? Because I personally would pick. I would rather be Ela. I would rather be Ela because I feel like she's better than all of them. Let's be honest here. It's true. I'm starting to do this, but you're you're not even you're not going to monetize. Why not just donate it? Um, Keemstar's right, really, <laughs> and this is embarrassing from Death Noodles. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I just like this is fucking pathetic, bro. Um, but like I would. How long is my video? I'm just curious. Oh, it doesn't say. It says how long their video is that I'm watching, but I only watched a bit of it. Joy, I I don't have any like distaste. Well, I do now. You know, I actually like before this, I liked Def Noodles more than Keemstar. But at the end of the day, bro, like what's right is right, dude. Like you're wrong. You fucking, and it's embarrassing that you people. <laughs> that's probably the harshest thing I said there, bro. That I like that. I, I liked the Keemstar more than Def Noodles after that. That is literal slander. I'm actually ashamed of what I said there because I've never heard Dennis uh, spew rape apologist rhetoric like Keemstar has. And like, so you know what? I fucking am very sorry, Dennis, because that. That was a horrible take. The, to just to even assert that I could possibly like Keemstar more than you was embarrassing. That is looking at that, I don't know what was going on, bro. My blood sugar levels must have been all that actually is hate speech, bro. That, <laughs> that's legitimate hate speech. <laughs> that's you know what's so funny though? It's just like obviously this situation soured me a little to Deaf Noodles, but I was talking to my wife about it. And she's like, yeah, you know what? Um, this makes me, for whatever reason, we got to a conversation. We're like, oh, it makes me like Keemstar a little more. And I was like, but wait a minute. Because I was like, yeah, but you remember Keemstar literally said that like women, like, why, oh, why can't you just push a dick out of your mouth when you're getting raped? And she's like, oh, yeah, he's a fucking scumbag. It's so interesting how quickly we forget that, he, that Keemstar has like done some really scummy shit and like legitimately has not actually apologized for it. Like he, his apology to that situation where he's like, why can't a girl just push the penis out of their mouth? <laughs> His response to that was like, guys, like it was months later, I covered it. And he was like, guys, I was just asking a question and you all jumped on me. It's like, bro, just stop it. Because like what you did was really fucked up and incredibly invalidating. So I have to apologize for that because that was that was very insulting to suggest that.
people take drama. Like, it's embarrassing that you guys will allow drama to twist your perspectives. But do you see the fucking money focus? Oh, Keemstar, you called her out, but you you forgot to link her GoFundMe. Oh, 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 but I, I'm not going to take money on my video, even though I could take that money and donate it, which makes a lot more sense. I'm just going to put up a fucking donation tab here. That probably equals around the amount of money I would have made. In my defense, the reason I'm so angry here is because of uh, a young girl was getting fucking sloshed, honestly. Like, she was getting fucked on, like, shit on. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was the, the part that I was more focused on, so I was probably pretty heated from that. But I know I was heated from that, because that shit's fucked up, man. Like, you have, like, this young girl who's who's slowly passing away, and we're, like, turning, you know what I mean? Like, and Eemstar did the right thing there, bro. I'm just going to say, he did do the right thing for that young girl. Because it made the the outcome was that uh, several felt pressured into actually talking to her after dodging this family. I will say that, even though he's a scumbag. Wait a minute, this guy's taking everything. You fucking. Is this a person? Dude. Made on my video if I had just left the monetization on, and then I could have doubled it. He brought awareness. Been proven right once again. Who gives a fuck about being proven right or wrong in this situation? This was about a little girl getting the video message nah, from her favorite up. YouTuber before she passed away. Who the fuck gives a fuck if you are right? Get a fucking Okay, <laughs> now let me just remind you again. This happened in December. There's no sure. doubt in my mind, and this is my opinion, that that video that Papa Gut did got back to Deaf Noodles. No. I, I just genuinely don't believe it because I feel like he would have brought it up. If that did bother him, it would have been completely justifiable. Um, but uh, even though like he did have the wrong take there, like, like literally to be absolutely honest with you, because like it's literally keem start calling her out as I, in, honestly, the only reason why she did anything, everything that I read from the mother and interacting with, uh, with her, uh, sniper wolf, sniper wolf was completely trying to dodge that situation. But if I had watched that as, as definitely, I was like, yeah, I'd be pissed too. But I also think he would have brought it up. So I don't think that it actually is the, the like, I don't think that's actually relevant to it, to be honest with you. Now, maybe it didn't get back to him right away, but it must have gotten back to him. He must have watched that video. He must have saw the way Papa Gut spoke about Keemstar and him. I wouldn't be surprised if Def Noodles was like, yo, it's on site, Papa Gut, it's on site. Def Noodles was thinking, no matter when or where I see you on these YouTube streets, I'm going to get you. And the B situation was perfect because you readied up yourself again to talk smack about Def Noodles. Now, you were more... I don't think that's true. And honestly, if you kind of think about the implications of what this person is saying, um, it's actually discrediting Def Noodles. Because what she's saying is that, like, Def was so ready to go off on me that he, like, he, had, like, he, he intentionally tried to uh, weaponize his audience against me over the beat like because he was angry with me over the sniper wolf situation and i just don't think that that's true i don't think that deaf noodles was like i'm gonna twist the narrative to go after papa gut like i don't think that that's actually what happened because of the, the the sniper wolf situation i think more than anything else it just wasn't a factor and uh that like he just i i i don't know if he was trying to be malicious i mean i feel like he kind of was in his assertion to me like the way that he misrepresented everything i said because as mean as I was, I didn't misrepresent anything that he said. And that's like actually a really big deal. Um, but I don't think that that was like a factor. I don't think that was a motivator. I mean, I guess I could be wrong, but I kind of doubt it. Or controlled and you stuck to the topic and you did not call him names. But you did before, right? You did before. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just... Noodles. Now, you were more controlled and you stuck to the topic and yeah. you did not call him names. But you did before. Well, I would like to say, like, yeah, for sure. But again, like, um, the names didn't really bother me at all. Um, it was contributing to priming. What bothered me was the misrepresentative of my perspective. So you could be as mean as you want to me. But, like, even in my video where, like, I, yeah, admittedly was, like, too intense, I wasn't misrepresenting Def Noodle's perspective, which is the main point of contention. And I, f I don't know why the actual problems here keep getting misinterpreted. We didn't talk at all about the very important, serious topic that I brought up in the beginning, which is just like the historical over-maturization of young black boys so that you can over-prescribe punishment and like how they overreacted and called them a predator, predator, pedophile, rapist, which is weaponizing sexual assault and, and like molestation. 
Uh, I, I don't like that, that that doesn't get pushed in there because what you're doing by removing that is, for one, you're probably trying to be more palatable for ad advertisements, which I get. But what you're doing is you're watering down the situation to drama. And this was very <laughs> much more serious. And so, like, I don't think that you can really have a truly reasonably accurate and properly contextualized video talking about me and Def Noodles without bringing that up in that situation because that's the main point. And it's unfortunate that the only people who are really talking about it are dancing around the very serious topic I'm trying to talk about, <laughs> um, which again is like subconscious bias and also what the weaponization of pedophile as like pedophilia and sexual assault by the B family. And I don't really like that. I just, you just can't have the right conversation about it. And this person isn't the only one who's doing it. To their in their defense, but a lot of people are doing it, and I think it's like a really. I just think that it's kind of shitty, man, because it just waters down what's actually supposed to be going on, bro. This really waters it down. Right, you did before, so that's why it seemed like Deaf Noodles was like coming out the gate, just like just hammering you. It, it looked like it was coming out of nowhere. It was like, Deaf, why did you bring a gun to a knife fight? It was giving that energy, but I know why. And Papa God, do you know why? Or you really didn't really remember what you said about death? I just think you, your speculation, your specul, oh my, your spec. I think this, <laughs> I can't say the word speculate right now for some reason. I think that this theory you have is, uh, is kind of unfounded. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, man. The unfortunate part of this video is that it, it seems to be very heavily uh, looking for an excuse for Death Noodle's behavior, which I see some people doing, which kind of reads as weird to me because he's a grown man. And like people make mistakes. I've done it all the time. But like to justify it like this kind of feels like like you're treating him like he's a, he's a kid. He's like, you're like he just has no control over his emotions. Uh, it kind of feels like you're not doing a particularly great job. I, like, I mean, like, the video, unfortunately, just misses the mark for me because you didn't bring up the main issue in this situation, which I feel is very important. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. A couple of months ago. That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe you don't remember. <laughs> and Def Noodle didn't say that's the reason. But I'm sitting back like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Def is just mad about what you said about him the other time. And he's just, you know, going off on you now. It's like perfect timing for him. Yeah, it's like a justifier, especially since like it doesn't within context, like it's not the again, the issue isn't how mean he was. The issue is like the misinterpreting, um, like the intentional miscommunication of my message, which you're doing as well. Like you're not communicating my message. Uh, I don't care about the meanness. Like, and like, ah, it's just kind of shitty, man. I'm like very disappointed because I watched videos from this person before. I'm just incredibly disappointed because like I just feel like the main issue is that. And then um, this is like a weird like, like you know, Def Noodles jerk off kind of a video, which is fine. Like you do you, but I really wish you would have brought up the issue that I had. But we've kind of trivialized this entire situation. That's how I took it. But Def Nudas is not saying that. He's just saying, oh, okay, yeah, I shouldn't have called you these names. Or, but why did you, Def? If you didn't call Papa Gut those names because of what he said about you last video, then I don't know what you're doing because that was just out of nowhere. I don't understand it. The only way it makes sense to me, it was because you're cheesed about what Papa Gut said about you the last time and you wanted to just tap him back. You know, It's Papa possible that he just doesn't take criticism particularly well and he overreacted. <laughs> it's also possible. <laughs> why that's not like a perspective that you have but okay um i think that's historically what he's shown and that's fine man he's, he seems to be grown he i think that he was he gave like his apology and everything after the fact so i'm not shitting on him for it i'm just saying papa got tapped you you tapped him back <laughs> but everybody looking they just saw you tap papa gut they didn't see when papa got tapped you first <laughs> yes, this video is like a weird and so all these preconceived ideas you had about Papa Gut and Keemstar, oh, you just are doing this because of Keem. You got all of that from that previous video because of how Papa Gut kind of stood up for Keemstar. And it's it's kind of hard to say that because in, I know in that video, like <laughs> I've also talked about how Keemstar was shitty. I talk about like every time I talk about Keemstar. So if you really watched it, I don't think that you could really go with the narrative that I'm like Papa Gut is like pro Keemstar, which is kind of what you're saying here. It's kind of like a dishonest narrative to, to push here, but okay.
And then that's why you were like attacking him and coming at him heavy on a debate. That's my opinion. That makes sense. But Def Noodle didn't say that's the reason. Def Noodle was like, yeah, yeah, I, you know, I shouldn't have done this and I shouldn't have done that. Da, da, da. So my uh, thing is, these two aren't friends, would never be friends. And why did you say that? Why can we never be friends? I don't think that's true. I think that Def Noodles and I will be friends. Okay? I'm letting you know that. Not not because I want it, but because I've already read it in the stars. So I know we're going to end up being friends. So, like, you're just wrong about that, bro. We're best friends. But, you know, saying, dude. Their first meeting was contentious. It wasn't pleasant first meeting. So it sure. makes perfect sense that when they had a debate time to meet face to face, that they would go at it. Def Noodles was already at 10. Papa Gut started off at a 5. And he maintained that 5. I think only at one point he slipped up. I didn't slip up at all. I mean, I might have met his aggression. That's not a slip up, though. But <laughs> I wouldn't call that a slip up. But okay. You have no fun. Your jokes are if she bleeds, she breeds. If she she can breed, like yeah, those see, are your I, see jokes. I knew it. You just brought those up to try to deplatform me. It's a well, pathetic how am I trying to deplatform you? I'm fucking saying you. Whole fucking you. It would be really unfortunate if she doesn't show my explanation of those jokes. Literally, you you like I literally no, explained why that was how, wrong, no, no, and no, no, your no, perspective is that that joke was appropriate. How you made the point that you thought that that joke was okay, even though I disavowed the joke. How am I trying to deplatform you? And now you're sitting here trying to deplatform me on it. How you am I trying to deplatform you? Where mind. have I said? Every well, like just so that you know, like the the reason is because he brought it up as like a shot at me, and then and then basically ten minutes of like trying to make me not able to explain how that was like a bad take, and it was intended to call out. Andre Lopez, who was like 23 and allegedly so with a 14 year old, because it was old enough to bleed, old enough to breed. Thank you very much, Andre Lopez. But it was like a bad joke. It missed the mark, and it wasn't like a, you shouldn't be joking about that kind of stuff. But that's why I make that assertion there, you know. I think that you say it's so bad. About and I'm like, like, it's about the intention of bringing things up, right? This is a very important thing. Like, oh, why are you bringing this up? Well, you know, if you're bringing it up because you genuinely, genuinely want me to explain myself, that's great. But if you bring me bring it up and then you steamroll me after there and try not to let me explain, you're doing it just to intentionally try to like take a shot at me. So yeah. I expected to sit you. here while you yell for 75% of the debate. And like your whole thing is <laughs> like you're trying, trying to be platform. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. The whole thing is you're trying to get me upset even though you've been crying the entire time. Especially I've been crying. I suggest where are the you tears? Where are the fucking Once tears? I, Tell me where the fucking tears are, motherfucker. The second the you're right, up. that means that Killick was making Shut a joke. The Shut fuck the fuck up. up. Boom. That's it. Your Shut whole narrative up. proves that Killick Shut was joking. The fuck you're up. agreeing. <laughs> you're agreeing that Killick is actually okay with because of the context. Girl. Your you're, logic dude. is that it's okay for Killick to harass a 15 year old girl. It's no, just a joke. No, Literally, no, it's your not. own logic is is it's like not. fucking. Apologist rhetoric. You're putting it's words incredible. in my fucking mouth right now. I don't right understand now. how you can sit here and you can spew you're cognitive putting words dissonance. In my fucking Talk about mouth. how you being intentionally hateful is just a joke. But the second that a 17-year-old black kid does it, all no, of a sudden it's not a no, joke. No, I've been and against like, it's harassment. A fucking Look, listen. It's insane. I don't even listen. think that you have the mental capacity to understand how fucking unintelligent you are here. It's mind-blowing. Either you no, are the most disingenuous, so morally dysfunctional, dumb fuck I've ever met, or you like, or like, what is this? Oh, now you're calling or me dumb fuck? you just don't understand. Okay, that's fine. I don't You're calling me what's happening fuck. here. <laughs> listen, 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 look. Other than that one slip up, he was pretty much. No, that, I just want you to know that wasn't a slip up. Like that's how I felt in the moment. Um, that wasn't a slip up. That was like fucking. That was like an hour worth of just like incredibly dishonest conversation from Deaf Noodles, and then like his his logic defends what Killip said. Killip said, so I brought it up. It's not a slip up. I don't. I'm not ashamed of me saying that at all. Like, that's what needed to be said, and it needs to be said, and so I wouldn't call it a slip-up. I maintained my niceties because I was trying to have an honest conversation, but definitely those wasn't, so. Five. But Papa Gart, <laughs> I saw that last video where you were on 10. <laughs> so it's okay to be a five now because you got everything out as a 10 on that last video. Don't make Def Noodle look like like he, he doesn't know reality. Like, he Yo, this is like a really shitty dishonest video, to be honest with you. I'm just saying, man, like it's a this this video is just terrible. I was trying to be like really nice, but honestly, after watching the whole thing, this video like really comes off after watching the whole thing as just an intentional reframing to make Def Noodle seem like what he did wasn't as bad. But like you even yourself intentionally didn't explain the context of this video about like the thing I've mentioned multiple times about like the overmaturization of like Killick, um, intentionally trying to say that he's a pedophile and a predator. And it's just like, well, you were mean to him once. I was I was rude to him, yeah, but I didn't I didn't misinform my audience on his perspective, and that justifies him trying to deplatform me somehow. 
Like you don't even, you didn't even, uh, you didn't address anything within a reasonable context. This is, this video is kind of, this is video is just shitty. I don't like this video. Like, I don't, like, I don't think it's poorly produced. I just think it's like shitty what you're trying to do. This idea of coming in and just like, yeah, you know what? I really want to reframe this entire thing based off of like a baseless theory. Um, because like, I like deaf noodles and that's totally cool. But like this video sucks, bro. I'm sorry, but I watched the whole thing and like <laughs> you didn't even bring up the main point. I think it's really like I think that it's it really speaks volumes when you say we're going to talk about this situation that relies very heavily on the situation of Killick and the B family. And I'm not going to bring that up for context. The framing is just so incomplete and inaccurate right off the get go. It's just like not it's just I, it's just not an honest video. I just genuinely don't think that this is a reasonable or honest video. He, he knows what's up. I think that's why he reacted the way he did. I don't know why he's not telling people that's the reason. Because at least Probably because he didn't watch the video. It's weird because like you're <laughs> you're very desperate to make that the reason to justify his inappropriate behavior. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. Like you this has been a pretty heavy part of the video is this is just really like nagging this point that is unfounded. Um it's like it's weird because it's a it's a it pulls away from reasonable criticism on deaf noodles here to make this to assert this point because what you get like it just constantly says even though it's like not founded it's completely unfounded and it's oh, dude I just this video is just I'm not I'm not I'm not particularly caring for the vibes from this people understand <laughs> they won't look at you like yo are you okay everybody's telling deaf noodles to take a break deaf everybody's telling you to go lie down that's how you came off everybody thinks something's wrong they're telling you to go lie down go put a cold towel over your forehead that's how people are treating you because they don't know why you reacted the way you did just say okay this is the reason it's probably just not and i'm just reason. glad i got to get my defunct judge jemmy out there even though it's cringe i spent a lot of time on it so i'm glad i got it out there uh if you're still around here trisha yeah if you want to know what i think about trisha and her being pregnant this is before i knew she was um pregnant because i guess she would have still been pregnant when i did this video a couple of weeks ago if you want to know what i think trisha is going to do with her baby <laughs> you can watch that video i won't repeat myself because it's all in that video right there see you in the next video uh yeah man listen <clears throat> a little bit of a recap uh, I think that the biggest issue I obviously have here is that you completely avoided talking about this entire situation within reasonable context. I don't know why people like it just starts off so bad because like, we're, hey, we're going to talk about the conversation between Papa Gut and Deaf Noodles. Oh, but we're not going to bring up the entire argument. We're going to avoid the B family. It's really important. It's a very important narrative. I've talked about in length and detail. And I feel like it, it bears repeating for some reason. I don't understand why. I don't know why you guys intentionally ignore it. Because doing that destroys the entire narrative. Like, yeah, it was a massive overprescription of punishment. Like, what Killick did was wrong. But the but the entire na that entire conversation is completely washed out by how they overreacted and weaponized sexual assault by calling him a predator, a rapist, and a pedophile. Um, and overly, like, maturing him beyond his age just to do that thing, which is historically a problem that's happening. Now, you can disagree with the race narrative. That's totally fine. But everything else completely stands and it's, like, factually correct. What they did was absolutely wrong. We didn't talk about that at all. And then this most of this video kind of focused on this uh, really just, like, theory that the reason that Deaf Noodles was slandering me was is because <laughs> because I was mean to him before, but you even it has nothing to do with him even being mean to me. It wasn't even my main point of contention. It was the intentional misrepresentation of my perspective, and like that's the main issue. That's the main problem. That's like you, you your point doesn't come across because it's wrong, right? I don't care that he was mean. It was the misrepresenting my perspective. He could have called me a dumb fuck all he wanted. I never cared. Um, but it was it was context for the way that he like engaged and primed his audience, but so is him completely removing my problem with the video. So, like, listen, man, um, it's fine that like you're a Def Noodles fan, that's totally cool. And it's fine, like you can that's fine. And you could be like, you know what, Def Noodles haven't been, I don't really care. But the it, intentional, like, bro, I don't know. Like it just feels it feels like intentional dishonesty <laughs> to me. I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's disappointing because I like the other video that they had made. But 
Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of disappointing. I mean, if this is a reflection of the way that most like T videos operate, like I'm very disappointed. <laughs> like that's unfortunate that there are such low standards on on T videos. Um, yeah, man. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, you listen to what I said and bring it up, like take it into the context of the situation. So hopefully, I didn't come off too mean. I mean, I'm being a little assertive, but I feel like that's 100% appropriate. <laughs> Who were you just watching, though? That was Frenemies Reloaded. Frenemies. Who is that, though? Uh, they're like a smaller channel. They had that really uh, good video about like the 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 one that focused on Trisha and Ela in a relationship. We'd wa I watched it on stream. Okay. And you were like, "Oh yeah, I like that video." It was an interesting dynamic. Like it was something fresh when it came to the the, yeah, the Trisha yeah, yeah. and Ethan drama. Yeah. I put on these pants and I think I'm too sweaty. I'm sorry, baby. What did you think of the video, though? Oh, it was terrible. Why did you think that? I, I was embarrassed watching it. It was just kind of too cringe for me. Why? <laughs> Why? Because she was, like, simping over that fucking idiot. And then, Seems to be the like, I, like, I'm thoroughly involved with you and your perspective. So it's very frustrating that people think that this is drama. About you being called a incel. fucking incel. Yeah, it is actually very frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. But I guess we can't ask for more well, from this like population, you know? You mean the drama population? Yeah, just like YouTube in general. I mean, if they're not going to engage reasonably in it, then yeah, like, I mean, that's what the standard they're setting is like not having the capacity to talk about it. It's like really hard not to be frustrated with this stuff because like this is like not. I guess because, like, like I stay true to who I am no matter what circle I'm in. You know what I mean? Oh, like, you as a person. Yeah. So, I, yeah, like, I can't true. imagine approaching something. Like, I was saying, I think it was last night. Like, even when it comes to Trisha stuff, I'm not going to be overly reactive or enraged about things. Because I'm going to react to it like any other crazy shit i hear about in my life right okay if i, I reacted the way that these people do to like drama shit like I, i'd be embarrassed for myself yeah what you're saying um well yeah because they're not engaging in the re in the conversation yeah it's just very frustrating and like i hate especially like it's not even that they don't understand it they're just taking the stance of like I don't find it to be a relevant thing to talk about, so I'm not gonna talk about it. And it's like holy fuck, but that's the whole video. Yeah, it's very interesting that I feel like there's like to me this it's the same circle TikTok, YouTube, all, all the media stuff is the same circle to me, and I find that it's amazing how there's like a like a hyper focus on social issues. Yeah. To the point where I think it's um, but I don't know what word you would use. But it's, like, not productive. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, nobody's having... And at having, the same yeah. time, we're having... We're trying to have these conversations that almost align with that. And it's... Then it's ignored. I get what you're saying. Like, people are like, yeah, we need to start talking more about sexual assault and racism and, and all these different things. But then the second that somebody tries to have the conversation, it's a t they tune out. Yeah. And it, that's why it does come off as, like, the commentary community just completely, like completely virtue signals over every issue because the seconds they're asked to actually engage in a like in a, in a deep way it's like no no thank you i don't want to talk about that yeah and it's like well that's really shitty um because like holy fuck yeah it's like, very frustrating that like i feel like what you have to say on this whole situation is just it's just the conversation to have and I feel like um, I've, I've, I've found that I'm a very visual person. Mm -hmm. And like what I try to explain things is from like a very visual perspective. And right. I feel like everyone's in the front like talking shit. And like you're in the background like yelling like <laughs> what like the actual problems are. But we can't yeah. hear you over the like chatter oh, yeah, the at chatter the party, you know? Complete, like dumb shit. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I Well, this could it. actually be a really interesting, productive conversation, especially, especially the race aspect. Yes. That absolutely. you bring up. Absolutely. Well, nobody fucking cares. I don't know. I, I don't understand it. 
and i can understand why because even be if it doesn't have to do that. with the with the that's what I'm, that's what i was just about to say like even if like we don't want to apply it to the b family i think it's a perfect example to explain like the it's a perfect example to have that conversation about like why young black kids are getting shot by cops elaborate on that that the about the age aspect about just like painting this kid with these certain oh, words yeah, yeah and yeah, why yeah, it's yeah. easy to like criminalize him yeah and, and that's based I, and then I, on I do, I do think that there's like a level of like subconscious bias of like oh this is somebody this is a black kid and as a white person right so like it's like a white person like, for instance when it comes to cops uh you have a uh, white cops it's like they're part of the in group of cops and the in group of being white and then they look at a black person who's not part of the in group of being white and they look at them as less like familiar they're like okay and they give them like less of the benefit of the doubt and it turns it doesn't matter if it's an intentional active thing the the negative impact is that these uh these biases that might not be intentional are seeping through the front <clears throat> like and they're not recognized and they're mm -hmm. not made apparent it's really the perfect it's just what what is his name killick yeah it's just like comparing killick and brock turner like i feel like which one is brock turner the guy who assaulted the girl behind the dumpster yeah no the energy with with killick is like the same if not worse than the energy with brock turner right brock turner is the one who and i do think dumpster. that like brock turner like when it comes to like the social media perspective like we all hate brock turner rightfully so absolutely but i do think that i guess what i'm trying to say if it's not clear is that off the bat killick is was getting like harsher labels than brock turner than was. brock turner who literally raped a girl raped a girl yeah so brock turner raped a girl behind the dumpster and she was passed out and he killick. dragged her behind the dumpster like people witnessed him dragging her behind a dumpster do you know do you know i just like want to like emphasize that because i mean like like i said all of us i feel like everyone's pretty much on the same page about him but like we talk about like sexual assault and stuff and like it's one thing and it's still bad when someone is um when maybe you're hooking up with someone maybe like one of the parties or both of the parties are drunk and they're kind of like whatever with each other mm -hmm. like maybe like making out or whatever they're engaging with each other and then someone's more drunk blah 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 that stuff happens yeah like that's a that's, that's a conversation, still, it's still that's, but he straight up still, dragged a girl yeah like there was you no, know there was no confusion of consent there was no like there's no there's no nuance like that is such a fucking that. monstrous act oh yeah like what a fucking piece of shit and like, what was the what was the narrative? The narrative was like, well, he's a young guy, and like, he's just a mistake. Do we really want to ruin his career? Yes. Like, what? That's the, and that kind of gets into like the whole conversation of like, he's not a bad guy, bullshit. Like, you know, what we're talking about before. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, well, you know, the crime rates are low, and or, or he's not that bad of a guy. He's always such a nice guy. I don't think he meant anything by it. But this girl's scarred for her entire life. But you know, he's not a bad guy. You know. And but like that, that, but Killick is getting more. Hatred. Killick off the bat was like, oh, like he's this thing, and everyone's like, yeah. Yep, hundred percent. So that's where I think like we could really have the productive conversation. Yeah. And that's just like ignored and like fuck the B family. They mean fucking nothing. They're yeah. a fucking pathetic, embarrassing family. <laughs> Honestly. I fucking love you. I love having you on. <laughs> but like for real like i don't give a fuck about them like i actually have found them very annoying since they started on what vine like i don't care i don't care for the little family act and i especially don't agree with like involving your kids and things like i imagine that when we have kids like you know he'll probably if i'm still pop if i'm still a, 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 i'm still a famous youtuber I'm but i I'm like still... i i told him the other day i imagine like a fucking saucer sitting right here with our little baby in it and him even like you know us sharing our child and like hi we have a little gut like it's gonna be cute yeah, but like course. i don't want to like be so intrusive in their life but anyways well yeah like i think the way that like uh, like honestly ethan and neela do a great job like they include the kids sometimes they show the kid off their kids well even on instagram i i just looked at his page for the first time and they block his face out oh wow good for them yeah that's a good idea i think we maybe we should do that 
Um, but like, yeah, they, that's the best way. But like, a lot of people are like, we have a baby. This is content. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and it's like, and like, it's it's great. Like, I think they talk about it, which makes perfect sense. Like, hey, let me talk about my kid. Like, obviously, your kid's part of your life. But to throw the camera in the kid's face, you see that the, the the B family do that. They throw a camera in their daughter's face. You're claiming that she's so scarred by this scenario, and then you're forcing. Yeah, a camera she in face. never cries. My daughter never cries, but she's crying. But I'm not she gonna never comfort cries. her. Yeah, if she never cries. But anywho, I don't yeah, really want to talk about them. To be completely honest, I feel you. my point being is that like fuck the B family, but this this event gives purpose to having meaningful social conversation, which is yeah. what we're all supposed to be doing. Yeah, yep. this is what the new social issues is the new trend. To be honest, it is. It's really unfortunate. So let's have the conversation in a real fucking way. It's really unfortunate because I've like, listen, I'm not going to deny it, but I've had conversations about like social issues in the incorrect way. And like, I've had people on to talk about it to, to correct me. And like, I engage in it because I'm trying to genuinely learn. But the intention of these people that talk about this shit, like the tea community, it's not even that they're like trying and getting it wrong. Right. Like people like it's, it's that they're just, they don't care. But when it's convenient, it's something, it's a social narrative to talk about to seem like a good guy. Mm -hmm. And it really does lend again to like, again, like we, I talk about this a lot. Where, like, historically in America, black people have only gotten rights when it's convenient for white people in power. Mm -hmm. right? We talk about, like, the Vietnam War. And that the reason why the Civil Rights Act was passed wasn't because we gave a fuck about black people. It's because we were over in Vietnam spreading freedoms. But we didn't even have freedom back at home. So, well, shit. We're going to have to do something about that to make us look better in this war. Mm -hmm. right? And this is, a, this is a trend, bro. This is a constant trend of, of, of this type of behavior. Um... And like again, what this is the same thing. This is the same thing on a smaller scale. It's like, oh, there's an important social issue to to consider, even if you disagree to to engage in and have the conversation. Nah, I just don't want to engage in it. It's so unfortunate. And the T channels get to say, well, I don't want to talk about these really loaded topics. Well, then, sh then, what, then what the fuck? What's the point of your existence? Like, it's like, okay, but you're the same person who like it's gonna be fucking. We're gonna hit the election cycle. And black people are going to be are going to matter to people again, right? Because people just don't give a shit about black pe issues or black people unless it matters. But midterms come up, black vote is, is important. So we're going to start talking about black people, and then we're going to put black squares in our Instagram profile, and we're going to want black votes, and we're going to want people to to give us a token. Like we're going to they're going to you're going to you're going to want people to uh, give you tokens. Like oh, I want black validation, and then all oh, what's going to happen? Midterms are going to end. People are going to stop giving a shit about black people again. And they're going to go back to it. It's all a fucking virtue signal. Like nobody actually gives a singular fuck about anything. Mm -hmm. And it's so dishonest. It's so shitty. It's like, stop pretending. <laughs> I fucking hate it. Yeah. It just makes me very upset. Like, you know what I mean? It just, it's just frustrating. It's, it's, it's insane. You know? And it's so crazy because like, I'm, I'm like, I'm fucking, I'm a cisgendered white privileged male. <laughs> and I'm getting frustrated by trying to talk about black issues. So, like, I really could never imagine how frustrating it must be to be a black person talking about black issues. It's probably fucking enraging. Could you imagine that? What should we do now? Like, it seems like, like, you know, like somebody will bring up a point. And you're like, well, what about this, though? It's like, hey, well, we have systemic racism going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, black people are just, uh, you know, well, well, what about black people? Why aren't they doing, why don't they just pick themselves up by their bootstraps? Like, holy fuck. Holy shit! Like you know, we just never, we just never a conversation, bro. Like it's, ridiculous. yeah. I don't know, bro. It's fucking. It's fucking... Thank God I'm white, I guess. Because <laughs> I would be fucking. <laughs> I would be. I'd be in the streets, bro. Probably taking out my fucking frustrations. I'm just. Gonna, I'm not trying to be rude, but like this shit's. I'm not. I'm fucking. I don't even. I can't even personally identify with this issue, and I'm st fucking still angry. Like fucking imagine if I could if I could personally then on the issue. How much fucking worse it would be.